Do you know the feeling of being in someone's house whom you have obsessed on? The opportunity for revealed secrets and unusual discoveries? How long have you been spying? She asked if I wanted something to drink while I filled my mindscape with the details I could have. The house was beautifully decorated and had that look that no one lived in it. No magazines half opened, newspapers strewn about, crumpled blankets or pillows on couches. There were some African sculptures on glass shelves, colorful rugs on wood floors. In my task force report, he had the highest popularity rating of any professor. The books were mostly about psychology and design. I asked what she did, and she said interior decorator. Well, I'm sorry, Gal, I hope fitting. I don't embarrass you, but I think I'm going to have to twist the dean's arm on this one personally until She brought out lemonade peel. with gin, served in a sleek, frosted glass picture. The master of the house's favorite drink, she declared, before clinking glasses. I never felt so mature or excited. I couldn't believe I had gone this far and had no idea what would happen next. The drink was delicious to me, and the alcohol served to bolden my investigations. Her name was coincidentally also the company he worked for. They had been together for 10 years. The blonde girl was his daughter and her friend from college. You can imagine my glee. She was getting friendlier. She had curled up on the white couch and taken her shoes off. I got the impression she drank in the afternoon often. While I contemplated our next steps, the doorbell rang. She looked surprised and got up to answer it. It was my father. She brought him right through to me and offered him a drink. He stammered, much like you, about going home for dinner and said, is that alcohol? As he looked at the pitcher and glasses dripping with condensation. She joked, I laughed, and he did too as we left. His demeanor changed while walking towards our house, turning into something sinister. No idea where you were, serving alcohol to a high schooler, and several other sentences were flung around. I found it all amusing, as if that one mile cocktail had been my first. He talked about calling the police and the PTA, and my mother tried to calm him down. The master of the house came home, and my father marched over there for a shouting match. When he stormed back, he grounded me, which I already knew was coming. As I sat in my room doing homework, I could hear distant shouting from next door through my window. It was a bizarre reenactment of a horrible crime that captured the nation's attention last year. I did see her more than three times after that, always coming and going from their car with the master of the house. They moved away within eight months, and the house was empty for a long time. The difference, of course, is that Smith's sons, three-year-old Michael and 14-month-old Alexander, were inside her protege and drowned. I don't think she had any intentions worse than I had. Um, well, I think because the first one, I was very young, and my first relationship with a guy. And I still do not understand the subtlety uh, of anonymity that our endless okay. suburbs require. Honey, your horny husband you say lost my generation doesn't know how to end anything. In reference to hired sequels and reality shows as proof, where are we ending up? What is happily ever after, and what does it require? Why do I relate this story to you, to provoke, apologize, or entice? Have either of us taken actions that are incorrect or cruel? I feel I am doing nothing but reaching out to a person whom I think highly of, and they are reaching back. This is what do you feel? CNN Will you tell me? Sincerely?